Hey guys, Kitty Chanley here. Today I'm going to show you how to install Terraformer Craft Build 78 for Minecraft 1.6.4. Some of you might be familiar with my Build 77 installation video, and the process is pretty much the same, but a few files have changed. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is download Terraformer Craft and Minecraft Forge. So to download TerraFirmacraft, you're going to go to terraformacraft.com slash download.html or just go to terraformacraft.com and click on the download button. This is the link that you'll need to click and go ahead and save that file in a place where you know you can find it. Next, you'll need to go to files.minecraftforge.net and get the version of Forge that is listed on our download page. So right now, this is the version and that happens to be the 1.6.4 recommended version. If you're watching this video in the future, this page might change. So you'll want to click on the Legacy Builds link and make sure to find the version there. The file that you want is the installer. Once again, I already have that downloaded, so I'm not going to download it again. The next thing that you'll need to do is run the Minecraft launcher. So, in order for Forge to be able to install, you have to make sure that you've run Minecraft 1.6.4 at least once. If you know you've done this already before, you can skip this step. Otherwise, select your default Minecraft profile, which would be the same as your Minecraft username, and click Edit Profile. Then you'll need to go to Use Version and change it from whatever you have it set to, to Release 1.6.4. Then click Save Profile and click on Play. Minecraft will load up and once you get to the title screen you can go ahead and click on Quit Game. The next thing that you need to do is run the Forge installer that you downloaded earlier. Make sure that the default program set to run jar files is Java. To check this just make sure that there's the little coffee cup symbol next to the file. If you have a program like 7-Zip or WinRAR installed, this icon might be different. If that's the case, right click, select Open With, and then Java. It'll open up a window that looks something like this. We are installing a client, and you'll want to make sure that it's pointed at your .minecraft folder or wherever you have Minecraft installed. Go ahead and click OK. It'll download some files and you'll get a complete message. Now, because I already have this version of Forge installed, it said grabbed zero required libraries. If you haven't installed this version of Forge before, you might get a different message. Just make sure that it says that it was successfully installed. Once that's done, you can go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher again, and you'll want to select the Forge profile. You'll have to re-log in, but if you have an existing user, you can go ahead and click play instead of entering your login info again. Once you've done that, we're going to set up a TerraFirmaCraft profile. So make sure you have Forge selected and then click New Profile. I'm going to call this one TFC Build 78. Now to make life easier, we're going to set up a game directory. Now for me, I have decided to set this directory on my desktop. So this is my folder. So you can see it's on my desktop. But you can put this folder wherever you want. This is where your mods folders, your config folders, and your save files from TerraFirmaCraft Build 78 are going to be saved. So you'll copy the directory of where you want to install it and go ahead and put that in this folder. By changing it from the .minecraft folder, you'll be able to not have to worry about having other mods installed or accidentally loading your TFC worlds in vanilla Minecraft, which will ruin them. Then you need to check to make sure that your use version is set to that same version of Forge that we just installed. Once that's done, you can click Save Profile and click Play to run it once. Once you get to the title screen, once again, you can go ahead and quit game. Now, if you look at my TerraFirmaCraft folder, you'll see that some new stuff has shown up. You'll need to open the mods folder, and you'll need to get the TFC jar that you downloaded earlier. 
Now all you need to do with this file is copy it and paste it in your mods folder. Make sure that you don't actually do anything weird with this. One of the most common problems that people have when installing TFC is that they try to turn this into a zip file or they try to extract it entirely. Just leave it alone. The file that you downloaded is perfect and ready to go. And if you mess with it, you're probably gonna break something. So now once again, open up the Minecraft launcher. Make sure that the profile you have selected is the one that we just created and go ahead and click play. Once you get to this screen, you can go ahead and click on the mods button. And as you can see, we have the core mod and Terraformacraft both installed. So this is ready to go. Thanks for watching.